Hey guys, and welcome back to Control. You ever have a game that just sticks with you for whatever reason in between uh, like the, the sessions that you play it? This game, I swear, has lived like rent-free in my mind. Because um, I took a, a break in between episodes, uh, you know, to do other stuff. And I just kept thinking about this, like thinking about like the characters, uh, the mystery, like what exactly is going on, the different powers, so... I think that's kind of a testament to, like, the world, that uh, it has that effect on you, so... I'm very excited. Very excited to see what's going on here. And I already can't wait to unlock the new, uh... The new skill tree, because there are three other powers, if I recall correctly, that we haven't gotten to yet. Put in there in a second. So, now it's so interesting. Now that we have the, the push powers... Everything becomes a weapon at this point, like this console, this office chair. You never know what you can repurpose as a weapon, which is pretty cool. Or just, you know, rip rocks right out of the, out of the ground, as we saw before. Alright, NSC control room. I'm guessing we're going to have to cleanse this area before we're allowed the to override is right there, go in there. In the control room. How do yeah. we get there? Let's, uh, stay frosty here. Getting a little preview of what lies ahead. Oh, there's someone. Here we go. I'm sure that's going to attract some attention. Not yet. Upgrade materials down here. Now, actually, it looks like we can magnet the health from a pretty decently far distance away, which is kind of cool. Let's keep a low profile up here. Cover to cover. All right, I think we're good here. This has to be one of my favorite parts of the game. It's just like when the room reforms after you get to cleanse the area. It's super, like, uh, cinematic. All right, let's just do a quick sweep. I don't think... Yeah. I think we uncovered any new areas to access here. Looks like we can't access these, and it's not because of our clearance level, so I'm not 100% sure what we're meant to do there, but we'll, we'll circle back around. Oh, here we go. Get that guy out of here. There we go. I want to get that headshot feed if we can. That's why I'm like working a little bit less on the uh, on the throwing aspect. Oh shoot. I forgot about, like, the environmental impacts that you could, uh, use. It looks like there's no one here. Okay, another one gone down below. Let's reload real quick. There we go. Get a headshot here. I think we got it. Oh, where'd he come from? Alright, let's move up a bit. Right around the corner. Where'd he go? Okay, hang on. There he is. Headshot. Here we go. Is that everybody? Collect our material here. Alright. Uh, this looks like a boss battle area to me if I've seen one, so... Let me just take a quick sweep around here, in case there are any uh, crates we want to pick up. Alright, that's a clearance level 4 area, so... 
not pass go. Back here. There's more generator stuff. Okay. Oh, there we are. I knew they'd be hiding something back here. Energy boost. Ooh, let's take a look at that. Uh, what's that under? Personal mods. Energy boost plus 5% energy. Oh, we've got a couple of the same ones. I still think that the health mod that we found has been the best one so far. Uh, and I wouldn't mind upgrading it, to be honest. Like, if maybe we could get it to, like, 40 or 50% of our health. So that we just need one little, uh, one of these tick marks. One of these little health dots to help us out. Okay, head into the janitor's office. Not gonna go that way. What's down that way? Alright, we will... I don't know which way we're meant to go. The janitor's office is over there. Let's investigate this area first. Okay. We're all good in here. Threshold kids. <laughs> what the heck? Is this like a Sesame Street uh, informational video? Or like a Mr. Rogers neighborhood? I also couldn't understand what they were saying. Is it the same? has such strong South Park vibes right now. <laughs> What's a pyramid? The Black Pyramid. It's in the astral plane. Airplane? Astral plane. It's big, white, and empty. Or is it? It's a weird, <laughs> crazy alien dimension. The light goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white and never <laughs> find your way back home. Don't you just love edutainment? Run this my home. It's even better because this is like a VHS tape you can see at the bottom. Just like some, you know, crappy show that... You know, as a kid, you had those, right? You had the the VHS tapes, which, looking back, are objectively terrible. But as a kid, you're like, I'm going to watch these a million times and just get a kick out of them. Holy crap. Threshold Remnant. Oh, okay. So we needed that for some of our mods. Um... We've got a Ritual Impulse and a Threshold Remnant, so we need to go and... Yeah. Uh, we have not got any uh, headshots. However, it says in the Executive Sector, which I guess we're in the, uh, the Janitorial, or the Maintenance area, so... Maybe it doesn't count, because I'm pretty sure we've gotten some headshots. That's just too funny. Oh, that was a funny video. Oh, hang on. Let's check this area first. Another threshold remnant. That's good. Go see our buddy the janitor. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Yeah, life is simpler, Only right? Only Ati here seems to see that. 
Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Aha, yeah, 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 yeah. you think there's a dog buried in this? I can <laughs> tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you're my great <laughs> assistant. But, yeah, that's a common phrase we say. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I'm out of this room, particularly swore that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the uh, power generators of a power plant, particularly. And the pensioner inside. He's starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation. Okay, so these, like, little side right. missions for us to do? Yes. No one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now. So you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. <laughs> the door in the back. That is the third the leg. Plant. That's pretty good. The door in the back. Oh, clearance level two. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Moving up in the world already. First janitor's assistant, now uh, level two. So is his accent, or like his, um, I guess his mother language, is it maybe like South African? I, I mean, it's not one I could say that's familiar to me for sure, but I'm I'm kind of getting like a, I think it's called an, uh, is it Afrikaans, what they speak in South Africa? What a mess! Burn yeah. the trash. Burn the trash. Burn the trash the around fire. the furnace. Burn it all. Okay. Burn it into a reindeer, not into a moose. What? <laughs> All right, got it. I think I can. I think I can handle a little bit of trash. Um. Okay, is the furnace that way? No. Okay, actually, maybe we need to um, save that that mission for later. Maybe we can do the directorial override first. Okay, so what happens again yeah. if that thing blows up? And we'll come back to... Explosion. We'll come back to the other missions later. Too much. Yeah, bad stuff. Directors I'm sure. Keep the lights on. Hotline Northmore. Okay, so we've got another video to watch. Uh, I think we'll save up some of these and maybe watch them towards the end of the episode so we don't kind of disrupt the flow. Because there is so much really good content that's happening. Um, these these um, memos are pretty quick, so I'll read them, but the hotline will save towards the end. Uh, Irish escaped object of power. An object of power escaped the Panopticon a couple weeks ago, and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it. So if anyone sees a merry-go-round horse zipping around the sector, alert me immediately. Do not try to contain it on your own, and definitely don't bind it to yourself. Your security chief, Simon Erish. Merry-go-round horse, huh? I've seen weirder things. Just another day at the office at this point. You're like, alright, just an everyday office, or an everyday object that can uh, easily kill me. What's new? Okay, these are friends, I'm guessing then. 
Okay. NSC. What is NSC hey. again? Hey, are you new? Then go talk with Chief Arish in the security room. He's in charge here. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, wow, look at all this stuff. This is so cool. Just all the spares, uh, for whatever this is. Let's go clear these areas first. Another ritual impulse. Okay, I think we're good here. Kind of cool that it, the doors automatically close once we leave. Like it's a safety protocol type thing. Oh, I bet you there's something back here. Oh, I bet you there's nothing back there. It's dangerous out here, lady. Yeah, 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 yeah. I literally have magic powers. Don't even worry about it. Ma'am! Hey! Chief Arish, FBC Security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Arish Security. Hey, Simon, I got your message. Yeah, I'm... Uh, if someone in this sector is asking about Ati, just tell him you'll handle it and leave it at that. Under no circumstances should any personnel intervene with his day-to-day -day routine. I told you everything I know about him so you could better deal with his odd habits, but yes, it's still very much a classified matter. Also, I saw your report about the quarry worker who wandered into the Foundation. Detaining him was the right move. We'll figure out what he saw before we decide on next steps. Cheers, Lynn. P.S. In case you hadn't noticed, something is up between Trench and Darling. I know this isn't your strong suit, but try your best to stay out of it. A couple interesting things here. So, one, Ati the Generator. In the back of my mind, I was kind of floating the idea that maybe he was all in our mind. Like he's some kind of psychological implant. Uh, but I guess this kind of disproves it if there's actual correspondence talking about him. Um, secondly, there's something up between Trench, the direct, former director, and Darling, the the science. That's kind of that's like the third or fourth time they've referred to some kind of tension between those two guys in the past. So, more evidence there, huh? Hang on one second before we talk to him. I'm gonna yoink this if you don't mind. Another ritual impulse. All right, let's go talk to him. Simon. They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I've just... Oh, hang on. We have a new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have the chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> I wonder if there's some sort of graphical uh, glitch that we're supposed to be seeing him. to protect it in case of an attack. So what's inside is dangerous. But Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy, uh, dude. no. Could have led with that. knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this piggy blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling them? Oh, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure hey, I'm the director a now. In his boss. Plans start with me. Oh, yep, see, there nice he is. I was going to say, either he's super dedicated to his job uh, and not turning around, well, or it's a glitch. C through F. Probably the latter. Is let's the let's get, ask some questions. Oh, he's gone again. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again. We should be able to help. Okay, okay, we can. So, you're going gonna to have to use the theater of the mind a little bit. Uh, or just pretend that he doesn't have time to actually look at us <laughs> and answering these questions. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. 
Well, they used the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the hiss having completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? Yeah, I think that there is some credence to the fact that they only use what's already in the victim's mind. Because didn't in the one of the security documents on the RPG guys, they were like, well, we don't know why they don't teach all the other possessed soldiers how to use RPGs, but I guess they can only use what they already know. So I think that's kind of a couple ticks in that favor. What do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest. These are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah, it's all part of the job. Yeah, as a director, you think I'd be entitled to know some of those secrets, but guess not. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. The thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. You know, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor or something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. So... We didn't mod it, but I think it it has something to do with the fact that it changes appearance based on who's carrying it. Like they mentioned Excalibur, Mjolnir, so I feel like there's just a weapon that is period appropriate that just kind of reshapes itself to whatever would fit in. So in our case, in the whenever this is set, I guess it's like in the 2000s. Uh, it's a it's a it's like a gun. So interesting. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> Of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. And he probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Okay, that was... He's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stuff. That was one that theory. Is either Scandinavia or South Africa. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Look at me when you're talking to I me next time. Simon. Right. You got a lock down the lift. Oh, maybe he's... Oh, see, I can't tell if he is supposed to be, because he turned around to look at me, and now he, he apparates there, so... All right, anyway. Um, head up on this way, I guess. Let's go ahead and get our fast travel up and running. We're good here. All right, let's clear this area here first, maybe. Oh, yeah. This looks promising. Heads up. Oh, yeah. There's these guys again. Oh, I wonder how they got they got pre-damaged somehow. Um I thought he was supposed to be immune from chucking stuff at him. Let's pick up this barrel. Where'd he go? Boom. Barrel to the face.
Okay, NSC energy converters. I guess we can do this in any order, huh? Let's just do a quick lap, lap around here. See if there's anything else that needs to be cleared out. Uh, Alright, we probably can't access it until we actually fix the mechanical problems. Alright, here we go. Ah, uh, no, it's funny. See, I kind of, I kind of have to figure out the whole uh, system of targeting a little bit better. All right, let's hang on one second. Er, one death score for sure. Here we go. All right, retreat. Show yourself. Oh, there's some health right there. There we go. Oh, that was close. Oh, shoot! Oh, <laughs> well played. Well played, sir. I did not see him there around the corner. And here I thought that we were home free. Yeah, so in a situation like that, a couple of the hits didn't connect because they, uh, they crashed into the cage. So I either have to be a little bit more aggressive and just get in there and, and you know... Melee is uh, another category in our upgrade skill tree, so maybe I should be trying to use that a bit more than I have been. And just uh, get a bit more up close and personal, you know? Okay. I'm pretty sure we can skip this initial fight here. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, this is a different area. Uh, okay. Uh, this is not where we were before, but... I'm happy to take advantage of this. Accuracy boost? Oh, that could be helpful. Take a look. Plus 5% accuracy? Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe if we mod it up to something slightly higher than than 5%. Then I could be convinced. Uh, we've got another dossier to read. Thresholds. The oldest house is a place in flex. Thresholds appear with no warning. What the threshold contain will contain is a question we can only answer once it manifests. The widely accepted theory is that thresholds are dimensions vibrating on a blank frequency different from our own. When these frequencies match, the threshold will manifest in the oldest house, which acts as a blank. Others theorize thresholds are parallel universes or possibly our own reality at a different point in time. Some believe our collection of altered materials affects the th house or attracts the thresholds. We do not know for certain that thresholds are not permanent. Eventually, their frequency will shift. Some believe Earth itself is just another threshold connected to the oldest house, which is actually rooted in some other reality. This theory, while impossible to disprove, causes blank in those who learn of it, so is actively denied. Okay, thresholds appear with no warning, dimensions, parallel universes. Okay. Okay, we can't go in there quite yet. Blackrock processing. Okay, we're getting a little bit too far off the beaten path. Let's, we can always come back here once we've cleared those areas. All right, I guess I need to go a bit farther to where we were before. I think I turned a little bit too early. Here we go. Oh, I guess we are gonna have to fight these guys again. down here. Oh, wow. Where the heck are they? Oh, there he is. Alright, took a rocket to the face. I 
Hennessy coolant pumps. Is that where we... Oh, I didn't see him right there. Holy cow, these guys really sneak up. Alright, let's come back here and get a little bit of cover here. So I've got to get used to those guys. <laughs> uh, not ideal candidates for a melee attack. Pretty obviously. Alright, let's pick up our health real quick. Yeah, I'm glad that we have this, uh, this health mod. Got one there. There. Oh, I see, I see. Up top. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can preemptively get some of these guys. Health down. There we go. Where are they at? Show yourself. Maybe we can attract some attention. Oh, shoot! I see him. Okay, I got one of them down. Right, let's go grab some health real quick. So those exploding guys can actually kind of work to our advantage because it seems like they might damage people around them. Somebody around here. I can't figure out where they are. Oh, there he is. Oh, I see him. Boom. Let's go. Okay, I think we're good now. Another fast travel point. Okay. Good stuff. Um, let's check this out real quick, actually. Astral Constructs. Uh, we've got a Shatter Construct. Oh, that's what we had before. Upgrade Grip. We need more Ritual Impulses. Construct Spin. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if Shotgun is really what I want at the moment. Can we upgrade some of our existing one? We can get a level 2 weapon mod that's random. No, I don't think we want to at the moment. Uh, okay. We'll hang on to that for now. It does look like we can get some oh, preemptive shots come down. on some of those guys if you see them hanging. Oh, what the heck. There's this, like, weird biological component that we have not seen before. I think we saw it in our vision. Uh, the, like, the preemptive vision of the maintenance area. Oh, they are great. 
great at flanking. Anyone else down there? No. I'm always checking my six now, just in case. I love these old-timey, like, uh... Title splash cards. Go to shift it. Fix it fast. If the plan is good, we can throw the spoon in the corner. Okay. Where do I do that? That this box over here that I need to reinsert. Because these these boxes here, we've put them in certain uh, places. Is this like, is that one of them, for instance? Like you put it here. Uh huh. Shit. What now? Investigate. Enemy the clock. Is blocking the pipes. The clog. You need okay. To deal with that Got it. He is dealing with clever. it. He's trying to sneak. We caught him caught with his hand in the fist. What the heck? Uh. They didn't like that at all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Um. That really uh, was unexpected. Yeah, so this is so interesting now having... Because up till now, it's been just a very, like, standard office environment. Um, but here, there's, like, this the this biological theme that we're having to deal with um, which makes me think it's not necessarily like another uh, another alien race necessarily it kind of definitely gives like the supernatural vibe all right we're gonna have to work our way through these guys again oh, this place is gonna come down speed run this. Oh no, I guess I guess we don't have to get them. See, I'm never quite sure how many what in what situations we're going to have to take them down uh, again. I guess if we have like a quick save or something, we don't have to fight them again. All right, so we've got to go check out the pipe. So what if we were to shoot it from like way back here. Is that possible? Yeah, okay, that's that's acid for sure. Let's not get be a part of that. Okay. One more. What the hell is that? Oh, that's we do the most it? disgusting thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I do not want to think about what this is. Okay, I think we've cleared away... ...fairly. Okay, we're gonna have to run that way in a second. Uh, we will have to get around. Good. Alright, which way am I going with this? Am I just going straight across? I guess I can take these little things out, right? That passageway, we've got the fan. Oh, 
I don't like these this sludginess. Right, I don't think we can clean that up, unfortunately. Okay, we've got around back here. Not much we can do there. Right, we'll let it spray one more time. Okay. From here, we want to go straight across first to grab that upgrade. Actually, you know what? Let's get these. Not sure if they can target me or if I just got unlucky that first time. Almost there. This is what we saw from the other side. Launch efficiency. I wonder if there's a way for us to stack these uh, upgrades here. Oh, shoot. Oh, I almost... Oh, is that a pit? Or is that a... No, okay. <gasps> thought I was about to fall down a hole. Alright. Uh, to the left. No. Alright, I, I think we've cleared the pipes, right? Okay, actually, I think we've done what we, we've come to do, right? So we should just be able to head back. We just double check we didn't miss anything else in here. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, Mr. Janitor. I don't like that sound. Okay. Oh, gross. Okay, we're gonna try this again. How'd we do? Okay, so there's like um, three or four of these, I guess. So the trick is just finding where the little brackets are that hold on to these cubes. Imagine there's one over here where we came in. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, hang on. Oh, let's maybe not use our special boxes. We're gonna try to. Man, these guys are actually pretty good at flanking. Alright, let's. Create a little bit of distance if we can. Kill yourself. Boom. Okay. There's another one down there. Those are the ones that blow up. Yeah. Okay, is that all of them? So, okay, this la the last one is probably up top, if I were a betting man. There. Alright. Yeah, here we go. Next round. Oh, I've got a big old cart. Where is it? Where'd he go? Maybe up top? Oh, there he is. There's someone up top. I wish I had a little, like, mini-map to know where the, uh, enemies are coming from. Oh, there he is. 
I want to say that that's it. Bog complaint. Yeah, tell me about it. I know a little bit something about that. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, they, these are the exploding guys. Okay, we'll come back to the clog. Compiled by Emily Pope. The Hiss charged agents are examples of extreme physical deformation resulting from Hiss corruption. Hiss charged display an unthinking fixation on any non corrupted individuals in the area. Once within a specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused hiss resonance, so dense that it acts as a physical force. The hiss charged is so depleted, or is depleted of the hiss corruption after this eruption, the host is left lifeless. This behavior may be an adaptive response to the HRAs. The hiss charged are designed to blow the devices off potential hosts, expecting, uh, exposing them to the resonance. Is the hiss capable of customizing a corrupted host's altered ability to this degree? Why is the physiology of the Hiss charged so dramatically different from the host's original form? Lots of questions, no answers. Okay, so they're basically just, they bomb you if they get close enough, which we already kind of know. Uh, clog complaint. That gross blockage down in the water systems is back. What the fuck is it? And where does it keep coming from? And why the hell does Ati keep yelling nonsense at it? He acts like I can understand him. Of course he acts like we can understand him too. I guess that's just his brand of crazy. I'm going to try out a new drain cleaner. Extreme strength. Yeah, uh, this video is brought to you by Drano. For sure. Oh, we're not done yet. Again, forklift to the face. I see you down there. Come on over. trooper that's the the tank base basically yeah they're meant to be the first agents to enter unknown awe's thresholds or any other paranaturally hazardous situation they are heavily armored and heavily armed in preparation for their uh in preparation for the worst as a result of their role his troopers have access to the heaviest armor and weaponry from the bureau's armory including military grade chain guns and grenade launchers in addition to their already formidable fbc issued armor the Hiss residence surrounding these entities is dense enough to stop bullets. If forced to engage one of these, be sure to make use of any available cover. Also note that to the telekinetically talented, enemy grades can be a welcome source of ammunition. Yeah, that's, again, that's something in our skill tree that I really want to be able to work towards to uh, flip the script, so to speak. Dif dense enough to stop bullets. Okay, so make use of cover. I guess just keep chucking stuff at them. That's more going to be more effective than um, than simply uh, using our gun. All right. So I guess I noticed before that this area was uh, closed off in red. So I guess that's kind of our hint to whether there are still enemies around. Because if uh, there are still guys we need to kill, it'll still be closed off. Alright, so we're on level 1, the coolant pumps, and then we need to go to the power plant, I guess. Alright, let's go. NSC and energy converters, I'm gonna assume it's up here. What the heck are those plants doing there? Like, what is their, their function? Is it just like a 
Oh, was that the mole that they were talking about from the, um, those, like, uh, public service announcement posters? Like, be careful of the mold. It'll, it'll mess you up if you take it home. Ooh, sniper. Oh, those are friendlies. I got you. All right, let's go, good guys. Oh, where do you come from? Sniper in the back there. Buddy's down. Okay, we've got a big man. Ah, trying to get around this cover. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, that's that's what you want. See if I can put this guy down from a little bit farther away. Is that another one? No, it's a good guy. All right, let's collect all of our booty. Booty, booty, booty. And I think we're good here. So let me double check. Is this one of these shelters that we've already cleared? It's hard because a lot of these areas kind of look the same. Shelter ID 61002. Yeah, I guess this is the one that we already did. Okay. No problem. Ventilation, the power plant. Okay, so we need to go find the energy converters. So the janitor's office. Okay, we need to go back out to the to the wheel. The circular area. Um, keep moving around. Okay, and we're back. So I cut out a little bit of the running around uh, and trying to find this. The very clearly labeled NSC Energy Converters Door, which, uh, not the game's fault. I don't know why I didn't see this before, but long story short, here we are now. Saved you all some of my, uh, issues with is pathfinding, I guess. So here we go. Oh, I see you guys in there. So I've discovered uh, that those the white um, barriers, like the kinetic barrier or telekinetic barrier, which is uh, most easily dispersed by the well telekinetic power. I guess that makes most sense. The most sense, uh, and it actually does a pretty decent number on them when we do that. So I'm kind of learning like the the rock paper scissors. Um, procedure, I guess, for which enemies are better uh, dealt with, with uh, what kind of uh, attack, so. It's vital. Here we are. We need to fix it before the old Oh, yeah. Where we can do that. There's usually three of them. Oh, I see them up there. Yeah. We've arrived. Let's see if we can snipe him from downtown. Oh, where is he? Up here? Oh, not the water cooler. What if I need hydration? I can't get quite that close. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Alright, let me recharge.
charge for a second. There we go, from downtown. Oh, you want some too? There we go. Uh, let's check up top real quick. Positive there's gotta be some kind of file or other important document for us to take. Audio recording maybe? No? Nothing? Surprising. Okay. Who's up next? Oh, I see you. Uh, what do we want? A chair. A chair will do. What up? Console? Perfect. Give it to me. Got him. Oh, I see you up there. Oh, I can't gr throw those grenade packs quite yet. I want to, though. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a bit closer. Oof. Oh, I see. You come to me. There we go. I think we got him. Yeah, this is a very nice health drop that we have here. Because we are needing it. Pretty regular basis. I wonder if these uh, shelter numbers actually change based on which one. Like, it says here, shelter ID G1002. I wonder if that will actually change based on a location, or if they have the same one everywhere. Okay. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. We good? No, one more up top. Uh-oh. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, shoot. Did not see that guy getting ready to chuck one at me. Alright, let's circle around here real quick. Okay, that one's down. Still at least one more guy. There he is. He might have popped one at me. Okay, let's go up here. Oh, and I keep forgetting that we have the, um, the dash now. That might be something we consider for just getting close into melee with these guys. Right, let's farm some health real quick. here, though. Uh, can we climb the fence? Yeah. Give me whatever that is. More ritual impulse. That's good. We think we need those in the teens for our upgrades, like 14 or 15 or something. Alright, one more to go. Not that box. This box. Alright, time to lift the lockdown. Let me see if there is a sneaky box back here. There's not. It's a little surprising. Alright, um, other than me struggling to find this place, not terrible overall, I have to say. Upcoming game reminder. Uh, where is it? Upcoming game reminder. Next game is Wednesday at 8, usual spot. Hazard owes me $20. Arish still on a fucking winning streak. Someone please figure out how he's cheating. Thompson, suspended for a game because of that shady dealing incident. Guy, I owe you $60. I brought beers last time, so it's Heppenstahl's turn, Remus. Okay, got a little uh, poker game with, the, um, with everybody. Okay, cool. So, 
with that, not going to be that easy, is it? Come on. I know you're in there. I was not expecting you. All right, let's motor. Go down here. Melee. Almost. Oh, we're not done yet. Did we get them all? I think so. I think when this little uh, circle thing appears here, that's when we know we've gotten them. All right. Uh, buckle up. Let's cleanse this area. All right. Situation under control. There's our old buddy Trench. Only be lifted by a directorial override. Right. Uh, I guess this is the right decision, right? Because I don't this know the override. Do. Okay, I guess it's an internal lockdown. So as long as we're not allowing whatever it is to escape in the outside world, we should be okay. Hoping. Oh, gently insert it in the hole. There we go. I know what I said. I guess we've got new areas we can access. Whoa. Oh, well, that's cool. I wouldn't mind having a, a like, sitting outside for lunch there. That's like a... What is that? A hangar? That's huh. it. The other sector should be open now. Oh, just like that, huh? I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two Tell should her get about, to know each um, other. You two should get to know each other. Her and Dylan? Or is there something else going on? Yeah, I, I, I'm confused. Color me uh, fully unknown as to what's going on. So, central executive. Yep, let's head back there. We'll talk to Aunt Emily. She said she was going to be doing some kind of tests. Um, but when we talked to her... We didn't get the option to take a test, so I wonder if that's just something that happens off screen, or maybe it's like a challenge that we take on a side quest. But um, yeah, I I don't know what exactly her her tests are gonna uncover, other than that we have powers, and I don't know, maybe something in our DNA is significant. A lot of these questions could be answered by a clinical live specimen. Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Sure did. Let's talk, Emily. Yes, of course. Listen, Emily. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created... doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something a being a being what kind of being it's hard to describe but it she helped us we managed to turn the projector off the bad things that came through the doorways were gone after that your people came tried to grab us I ran away. Oh, and they got Dylan. They got Dylan. I left them behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. 
No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. Oh. In my head. She's the third party. The, she let me the being. Be. I call her Polaris. North Star? As in a guiding star. Yeah. Did Polaris know about the hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Oh, there your we go. Readings okay. Are I was wondering about the tests. Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go He's after He's the him. operations How director, can I get right? To the research sector. Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Oh, clearance three, baby. We're moving up. Let's go. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess that means we need to take his missions uh, seriously. The janitor. Maintenance, major targets. Hold G to activate. Oh, shoot. We're on a uh, timer? From the, the maintenance guy? Okay. Um, why don't we take a quick break here, but guys, when we come back, we'll be on a little bit of a, a time crunch getting stuff done for the janitor, because otherwise, I don't know what he'll do to us, but let's not disappoint our new friend, and, uh, yeah, so we'll jump right into it next time, so I'll see you guys then. Bye for now.